she would be following on from sister-in-law the Duchess of Cambridge in flouting the royal protocol. Historically the father has not been in the room during a royal delivery. However this convention was ignored by the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge when they had their three children. The protocol was also broken by Princess Diana, who allowed Prince Charles in the room during the birth of Princes William and Harry. Traditionally royal births have taken place at home. The Queen, for example, gave birth to all four of her children at Buckingham Palace. However this convention was also overturned by Princess Diana and Prince William, who had their children in the Lindo Wing of Street. Mary's Hospital in West London. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge chose the same luxurious facility, which charges £5,900 for use of a room and even higher prices for a ward suite. Read more, Meghan Markle having a boy or girl? Duchess has revealed baby gender the luxurious facility usually charges £5,900 for use of a room, with even higher prices for ward suites. There is speculation that, whilst she won't give birth at home, Meghan is not planning to use the Lindo wing. Last month, a royal insider told The Sun she doesn't want to do anything that Kate Middleton has. It's been suggested the couple may have their baby at Surrey's Frimley Park Hospital instead. Read more, Kate and Meghan Markle net worth before marrying royals revealed after the birth takes place, according to convention, the Queen should be informed immediately before the official announcement. According to reports, Prince William gave his grandmother a call following the birth of Prince George in 2013 using an encrypted telephone. The midwives which assist with the birth are expected to be sworn to secrecy. According to reports the Duchess of Cambridge had support from a team of 20 medical professionals when she gave birth to each of her children, including three midwives and four pediatricians, 